Hey fish friends, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing well. Today I just wanted to take you around the fish room so show you guys some things that are breeding, some changes that I'm going to be making, some new things that are going on. So we will go further in depth with that but as you can see I started painting and I haven't finished yet. So. I just really quickly kind of wanted to walk around the room in the beginning of the video and show you guys the room because I don't feel like you get to actually like walk around and see everything enough. So yeah. So this tank down here, I ended up putting a divider in and I'll talk more about that later. But all these tanks are getting a remodel to them soon. This 75 will stay bare for the angelfish grow out. It's the 300 gallon turtle pond. I'm going to be doing a video soon showing how we made our filter with a five gallon bucket and Tupperware. And this is the 90 gallon that we purchased off Marketplace. So it's over here on the other side of the room from the biggest aquarium. Right now it's um, a bare bottom, but I don't think we'll keep it that way. It's not level at the moment. We need to get under there and shim it. And I might end up, once I get some more grow out space and get these angel fish moved on, I may end up resealing the aquarium before I go in and start adding substrate and plants and things like that, driftwood. But for now, we needed some extra space for these angel fish. And as you can see, there's so many different kinds in this batch and I think there's about 200 angelfish here in this 90 gallon so I have to water change it about twice a week right now it's not too bad some nice looking angels though I don't really know a lot about the genetics of their parents so we'll see what we end up with later on but Moving on to some other things in the fish room. I managed to get some footage of the Bashirs eating and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys they're eating black worms. It's so cool. They just, they just smack them. They're even going to get in a little bit of a scuffle, but that's okay. I'm hoping that in their growing stage, they both stay growing at the same rate and we don't end up with one eating the other, but it's definitely possible. The brown Bashir is a Bard Bashir, and then the other is an Albino Senegal Bashir. So the Senegal stays a little smaller than the Bard Bashir, so we'll see what happens. And here are some of my German rams, and I ended up putting a divider in this tank, like I mentioned earlier, because they just started fighting, and I don't know if it was because they were trying to breed and pair off. They haven't bred yet since I put the divider in, but it's only been like a day, so we'll see. I'm hoping that female right there, that she ends up spawning. <clears throat> with that male right there so we'll see what happens but he has been bullying the entire tank so it's a 40 gallon breeder and 
I've got like a whole bunch of different stuff in there, little terracotta pots and driftwood and little hide caves. And I'm hoping to ease the aggression, but I didn't end up putting the divider in. So we'll see what happens with that. But these guys are eating some black worms. They eat Daphnia. I feed them lots of different uh, prepared foods as well. I'm going to be getting them some Dr. Basilier chlorella because I got a sample of that from JL Aquatics when I got my last order and they really liked that stuff and it's really easily digestible for your fish. I was wanting to medicate one of these German rams in a different tank with some metrazidinol, but all of my foods were higher in protein and it it ended up making it to where I could feed the medicated food without having bloat or anything like you see right here this fish is just a little bit on the fat side and I think that's because I used the high end protein with medicated food he did make it he did pass his bowel but I did notice that when I fed the medicated food with a higher protein it it was not as successful as something like the chlorella that's easily digestible so that was pretty cool these are some banshee epistogramma fry that i have and i have another batch that's about three weeks behind these guys i think i have about 30 in here they're pretty cute The focus is really hard to get, especially with how the tank is. I'm going to scrape the rest of the tank of the white because I did try to breed discus and I failed. So I'll be painting the background black and this tank will probably get a better light and um, some plants, maybe some terracotta pots, things like that. But right now it's just doing what it can to help these little babies grow out. How cute. So this here is my bristle nose spawn. I just wanted to highlight this because I haven't had one in a while. So if you guys aren't already, please subscribe to the channel and go ahead and give a like down there if you like this video and we will be making more videos here in the future. I have some outdoor ponds that I'm gonna be setting up and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you watch till the end here's a little clip of a pikachu turtle an albino red ear slider thanks guys have a wonderful day and remember just keep swimming until next time